The eyes are the windows to the soul. If you've been listening to my videos, you know how much respect I have for old lingering sayings that have endured through the generations because they have endured for a reason. Things last and get passed on from one generation to another for a reason. It's not by accident. And there is a point to what I'm saying, as always. I don't know if you've noticed or not, uh, depending on uh, the markers of wealth that you happen to possess, um, I um, have noticed that every time I stop at a, uh, at a traffic light, you know, uh, or I'm in a place where people are lined up, men and women, uh, waiting for a taxi, wherever there are eyes, uh, you know, uh, on you, I notice how uh, women, especially women, I notice how they uh, look at the car, you know, look at your suit, they look at what you're wearing, they look at your shoes and whatever, they size you up. Uh, you know, just just the other day I noticed uh, I was at a, uh, you know, a, a traffic light, red light, and uh, this woman who was with a man, she was in the passenger seat, and uh, she looks at the wheel of the car, you know, she sees the emblem, and then, and then she looks uh, without uh, her man noticing. She looks at the, looks, turns around and looks to see what model of a car it is, you know, how big it is and whatever. Do you think she does that because she's interested in automobiles? No. Women are hopelessly, hopelessly attracted to markers of wealth. And they're hopelessly attracted to markers of wealth because it signifies ability to protect provide and give her all the things that she desires in life and take her to where she wants to go in life she doesn't care about the car she doesn't care about the brand of the suit she doesn't care about the company in italy that made the shoes no they're attracted to shiny objects if you will markers of wealth because from the cave days that signifies how much uh, that man has the ability to take her where she wants to go and take care of her. There are some things that uh, we cannot control and we unknowingly reveal. Uh, I think I've repeated this before in many, many, many videos ago, but there was an Austrian uh, psychiatrist who said that people unknowingly reveal their innermost secrets through their body language. Indeed, 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 that is true, my friends. And the operating word in this, in this sentence is unknowingly. We unknowingly reveal our innermost secrets in our, through our body language. If we don't have money, uh, you know, if we're unsure, you know, we usually stand back with our head down. You know, if we have uh, money, if we're confident, we go to the, you know, the front of the room, you know, uh, our body language. We're not even aware of it, but others pick up on it, especially, especially women. Uh, when it relates to men. They pick up on markers of confidence, markers of wealth, whether a man is sitting leaned back with his legs spread, or is he sitting like a little boy, you know, with his legs together and his head down. All of these little things, all of these little things extrapolated uh, in the mind within seconds, within seconds. Um, and the reaction that uh, ensues reveals how much it is important to... Uh, to women in this in this uh, vein that I'm talking about uh, the amount of wealth a man has why do you think women go to golf courses because that's where wealthy people hang around <laughs> on a Wednesday morning at 10 uh, 30 uh, the guy who's playing golf and he's not retired usually he has money usually depending on the golf course of course depending on how exclusive the club is and all that and what's the point in me telling you all this? The me in telling you all this is that if you're in a situation where a woman has left you, if you're in a situation where a woman is about to leave you, if you're in a situation where a woman left you a long time ago and you wonder what attracted her to you and what made her leave and everything, it all has to do with whether or not she sees you as someone who's willing to take her to where she wants to go. It has nothing to do with you and it has nothing to do with the next guy that she's with. And it has everything to do with what you have and what the next guy has. Operating word here is has, not who he is. It doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter. And, uh, you know, once a woman passes uh, age of, you know, 25, 28, 30, depending on how, how, you know, how much of a gold digger, how much of a, of a uh, you know, clever woman she is, and, and, and you know, uh, thinking woman and analyzing woman she is, the looks will start to matter less. And what she, what he has starts to matter more. I never forget when I was 19 years old, I was in college and God knows I was uh, dating this, uh, sexy Italian woman who was 24. She always used to tell me, I wish you were five years older. I wish you were five years older. I wish you were five years older. And you know, I was honestly m more green than anyone you can imagine behind the ears. I was 19. Come on. And, uh, one line she told me, I will never forget. She always used to say, I want to meet a man who, you know, has his life together and everything, you know, and all that means is money. Let me sum it up for you. And I said, you know, what if you don't like, I was, I was green. I was asking dumb questions. I said, well, what if you don't like how he looks? What if he's short? What if he's, uh, you know, n not your type? She says, I can learn to love him. I swear to you, whoever is listening, I'll never forget that line. I said, I can learn to love him. And I was thinking as a 19 year old, if I'm not attracted to a woman, you know, her, her physical appearance, whatever, I can never make myself learn to love her or want her even, you know, <laughs> what does that mean? But women, that's how they think. I can learn to love him. I can learn to love Jeff Bezos. I don't care if he doesn't have any hair. I can learn to love George Soros. I don't care if he's a, a 90 years old and, and uh, looks like a wrinkled bag of glues. No, because their priorities lie elsewhere. This lesson, like all other lessons, was free. All the best to you, my friends, and I'll see you on the other side.